All right, welcome, motherfuckers. We are going to be doing a little bit of a spectate here. Welcome the old spectatorino. Fuck yeah, okay, I got to change my sound a little bit. Nobody wants to hear a bunch of like really loud ass pings and shit. That's just no point. Let's just speed this shit on up a little bit. Catch up with the actual gameplay. All right. So this game is my buddy Crimson Sky playing Diego. Champion got released. He kind of fell in love, a little bit in love with this anime edge lord, and he's rocking it. So we're gonna we're gonna pay a little bit of attention to him up in the top lane, but we're also gonna be focusing on a little bit of his stuff. So. Uh, Blue board set down so you know where this new new is going to be pathing, which is very nice to have. Nico Kaisa, interesting. Interesting bot lane. Uh, Jin Brand, I think, puts out a lot more damage than Nico Kaisa, but. Kaisa's pretty fucking busted. But, all depends if you're actually able to get in for any kind of poke damage. Jake is going for a little bit of. Early harass. I mean, he's manaless, so he's definitely got the sustain built in and ignite advantage over on the Fiora for all ins. As long as he doesn't take any free power shots, he's going to be doing quite good. Um, a little bit of a lull stage here. I'm really surprised nobody fucking died. Great stun came in from the brand, and then the Jin. Uh, Missed a point blank W on a stunt target. I mean, not exactly awesome. Then we're going to be watching bot lane like a lot. Like, I know there's other lanes that there's a jungle, but the old directed camera is just saying, fuck you. No, no, we're staying bot. Look, right back to bot. Diego's just getting this push on, just, just peeling up through it. Uh, Nico? Kesta, goddamn fuck. I, what did she think was going to happen? Like, you, you flashed in with Ignite onto a target with good amount of health and also had heal. Like, 1v2, bitch. Uh, oh, no, Diego. Oh, oh, my God. Ah, uh, you can't even... I don't even know if you can call that an outplay because nobody was moving anywhere. That was just auto attacks into auto attacks. But it kind of, it kind of panned out. I don't know how the fuck... Uh, Nunu got executed, considering he's basically an uh, infinite sustained jungle beast. Uh, but thankfully, uh, Diego's sustain is so fucking good in lane that he is basically back to be able to uh, scrap it out. Now, yes, he is down a pot and a long sword. He is up a little bit in XP. Don't really necessarily know if it's enough. It is kind of dangerous to stay here with the Moony in the area as there is a Zero Ward setting up here. Good scrap. Brad gets himself a kill. Bimbo the Himbo. Here's the weird fucking thing. I know this name. I have played against this person before. Like, I recognize it. And, okay. If this ain't a fucking bot different FF15 at this point, I don't fucking know what to tell you. Like, okay, good. Like, at least there's a fucking kill on red side. But, Jesus Christ, this bot lane is something extra. So there's a word of back of the bush, uh, rush there just in case. They was trying to do that charge up miss thing, ready to go for the Fiora. He's crashed the wave it again. After he crashed the wave, that's the best time to be backing. Pantheon is sitting pretty, uh, definitely up against his Ari, which is weird because she's ranged and he is not. Uh, but the massive disparity going on in the bot lane. Fiora ends up uh, going, okay, I could probably safely go up here. Doesn't look like he's here. Uh, what's Viego going to be buying first? This is actually even up the top lane. A little bit interesting. Alright, and he is going with probably the least efficient start for the build. But I understand the point to it. Like, yeah, you're getting a little bit of on-hit damage and the attack speed, which is cool, but just over top of, like, the actual heal coming in from the straight-out Scepter, a little bit less awesome. Great stun chain 
came in. Why would she even fucking flash for that gen? She's gonna burn to death anyways. Like, you flashed for the KS, and now you have no flash for the Nunu. But the Nunu is going for the brand. Why is the Nunu going for the brand? Good. Charm goes off. Roots onto the Nico, hits a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, Brand ends up going down after all. Uh, Diego is definitely having some really bad trades uh, going on here. Uh, just dies straight up, even up. Uh, Could have used Ignite for that fucking fight, or he flashed. Uh, Volley is chasing this Nunu down, but unfortunately, in comes Pantheon with a point-and-click stun, because that's a fair ability. He's still chasing in, but at this point, uh, dude, just get the fuck out. Int. 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 Ari. Int. Okay, you did some trade in damage, Ari, but you really didn't do too much, and Jin could have rotated. Probably got an easy kill, propelled himself even further, but nothing. He just wanted to farm. Because uh, that's League of Legends in whatever fucking ELO this is. So let's see how things are going to go. So uh, somehow the Viego with even items uh, won a 1v1. And then uh, ahead in items lost a 1v1. Uh, really fucking weird. Uh, Ari, I don't know what you're doing. You got no mana at all. And hey look! That thing! Okay, able to get the slow, did not get the shield. Volley, can you finish this? I don't know, they are pretty fast. Beautiful Brand W into, holy shit Brand, you are fucking hard carrying whatever this bullshit is you're carrying. I, I don't know what this bullshit is, but it's all Brand all the time, and I want to point that out. Uh, Bimbo, the motherfucking himbo, if anything goes well, it's because of him. Uh, so the, the issue is that Diego's having here is that he's not able to pick the proper scraps because he is aggressively power pushing this lane. It means he's kind of leaving himself permanently, uh, oh, really good stun chain. Uh, are you going to get the ignite off? You did. Beautiful. Uh, basically, he's, uh, Diego's stuck playing around ignite, uh, right now into the Fiora. Which is very confusing because the, the picture changes, yet it like it, it's actually really fucking confusing to know who killed who. Kinda dumb. Good pop from the Nico. Can she go any- Wow! What in the flying motherfucker is this? Okay, at least it went off to the Nico and not onto the Pantheon, but Bully Bear is down two fucking levels. Uh, bitch? Bitch, what are you doing? Just fucking give the crap and go. Like, you're getting mid gap. Accept it. Hey, look, Ari finally pinged messing. Good shit, you dumb bitch. Unfortunately, this bot lane is an absolute fucking monstrosity. You've got a 20 CS uh, Kaisa into a 61 CS fucking Jin. I mean, three times the fucking CS. Three times the kills, infinite times the kills, but three more kills. I'm just trying to make a point. Um, Nunu is still giving her. He's been uh, he's been ganking pretty decently. I'm not really sure about what this volley bear thinks he's uh, doing. Uh, good try from the branch. Uh, see if you can get a little bit of damage up in this bitch. Uh, Viego is ready to uh, to go again. Now has the Okay. Oh, Fiora got behind you. Uh, what? Oh my god. One for one, but that was depressing to everybody who watched that. The issue is that the Fiora's got TP to just get right back to landing. So she got a little bit of place if she so desires. Can you get this? Holy fucking Christ, I would have missed that 100% of the time. Why? Because I'm pretty sure I know where they are. And then I, and then I just, uh, this army's been having a rough time with the endless goddamn Nunu that's apparently determined to suck Pantheon's dick. It's kind of a little fucked right now, that's alright, Nico is trying to be a champ, uh, granted in team fights her, her ult is going to be huge, uh, there is a sizable fucking wombo combo that can come down, uh, alright. 
All right, just fucking back, you bitch. Just fucking back. Just, just go. Just go. Um, you dead to me. Uh, so we got a plated greaves now coming out onto the Diego. Uh, still doing good uh, in CS. They're still going even. Kills where you move here. Nice. Hit the late stun after the start. Big damage. Oh, he needed one more auto. One more fucking auto. But you are three levels up on this Nunu. What the fuck does Nunu think he's got? Unfortunately, the kill. Big damage onto the Nico, uh, bitch. Why did that just make me so fucking sad? You guys had that point and fucking click dead. You flashed! You don't have mana! Why do you never recall? Why do you never have mana? Can anybody- No? We're just- No? You fucking dumb fucks! Just give it to anybody that isn't the Ari. Thank you, Jesus Christ, Ari. You need to go back to fucking bots and tutorial mode. Your name is Soki Sucks. I assume you are, in fact, Soki, because what the shit am I watching? Okay, this is a three-level difference. If Jin doesn't just one-shot and just get the easy kill, I, I just don't know what the fuck to tell you. Boom, there it is. Good. If you would have fucked that up, I would have slapped his bitch ass. I would have found him, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back uh, style, and just beat the shit out of him with this fucking door. Because what the fuck? Oh, Viego, you just took a free turret shot. Why are you doing this to me? What am I watching? What is happening in this top lane? Uh, so basically, your build is going to be slightly offset uh, for this Viego. He went with the early boots. It's not panning out super great. It honestly would have been better to go with an early Executioner's. Because you know that this Fiora is going to just be insane fucking Fiora. Insane. Utterly fucking insane. The other downside is, she got her damage spike a lot faster than you. As you are stuck waiting for use to come out of your items. Wow, really good, actually. Can you get that last bit? Yeah, dead. But look at that. Look at that. That 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 dude, that brand, had all the time in the world where he could have taken all of that turret farm, but he would have bounced it. Uh, he would have, like, fucked up the wave for the gym. Right now, it's going to continue to push forward, so he's not only fucked. Otherwise, it would have slapped back. He would have lost all the wave. Blah, blah, blah. Ari gets hit yet again by the fact that this Nunu will not get the fuck out of here. Really good trade back, actually. Uh, Volley, you are dumb. You are dumb as shit. You just flashed and altered to die. Uh, good job. This guy... This guy's making me feel some thoughts that I didn't want to feel. Uh, I'm having some issues. Uh, issue here, too, is that this Diego is very far down, and the Fjord just walked around him to pop all of those. When, when she starts doing that, you, you gotta fucking kite her. You gotta fucking move around her so she can't just hit those vitals for free and just pop you for that much max health damage. The issue is, she's now three fucking kills up on you. And, uh, and 2k gold. Uh, plus, she took all those plates. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fucked in top lane. You need, uh, you need to cry for your jungle. But your jungle ain't coming. Because uh, your, your jungle's too busy inting. Wow. That support Nico just solo killed a mid lane Ari. And they're both trash. This is a depressing game for me to watch. This is a depressing game for me to spectate. This is going to be a depressing ass game for anybody watching me spectate. So, you know what? We have a good system. We have a good system going. Okay, so Volley Bear is at least helping up to the top lane. That is what you got to be doing. Can you hit this brand? Yes. Nunu's coming in. 
Pantheon's coming in from the backside. They spot him out on a ward. Beautiful chain comes down. Fuck you, Nico. It looks like a Pantheon. It fooled me, and I have the client yet. Like, I'm in spectator mode, and I just don't even fucking see that shit. Impressive. Impressive how I was just fooled uh, to this degree. Uh, I gotta tell you, this brand, uh, Bimbo the motherfucking Himbo, is kind of hitting all of these W's into fucking stuns. The problem is that this insane-ass fucking uh, Fiora is now here, sitting on Finnish Mythic and fucking Ravenous. And our Viego uh, is still sitting at no items at all. This is an absolute insane disparity. Uh, 2,500 gold difference. Basically an item. That's how rough this is. Nice from the Ari into this Pantheon. Uh, what the fuck double hit was that? Okay, Ari, you're, you're kind of rolling with everything. Oh! Oh, the accidental block from the Nunu! Can you get anything in? You can't! Oh, and now this level goddamn 15 Fiora is all over this fed gin. Well, guess what? It sucks being an ADC because even if you're fed, you're not. You're not, because anybody will just fucking kill you for free all the time. Okay, well, now Fiora is just fucking one v 9 at this point. Uh, eight kills, nine kills on her. Uh, TPing up to tower, that's dumb as shit. You guys could have pushed in mid. Uh, why the fuck did you just tr uh, use your TP? Brand stopped it, but there really wasn't much point. Can you get this last bit of burn? No. Brand's dead too. This mid laner is still uh, dog shit bad. Uh, finally, you have the finished item on Diego, and it's starting to go on the next item, uh, which I'm going to guess is Kraken Slayer. Wrong. Wrong. You're not going to be able to properly 1v her unless you sink that 800 gold that you just sank into those items had to go into an Executioner. Though that Executioner, you can't properly kill either the Nunu or the Fiora. You just need to be able to stop that, that healing in a scrap. I mean, whatever. If you want to rush your mythic instead of doing like the, the proper build, you, you do you, buddy. You do you. In comes the Pantheon, which I knew was not an eco this time because she can't do that alt. Unfortunately, in comes the Nudu. Really good go in from the Nico off the rocket tower. Great boop. Brand's taking some serious a chunk of damage. Can they finish him? They cannot. And double kill for the brand. Nico uh, is also dead. Uh, Diego's a Pantheon. Pa uh, whereas Nico's other people too. Oh my god, this is just literally a battle of fucking chameleons. And why, why don't we just add a fucking Shaco for some bullshit ass clones that make me even more confused? And, and why not? And, and why not a LeBlanc too? There should have been a goddamn Shaco jungle with a LeBlanc mid. Just. Just make it as confusing as fucking possible for me to even like watch this game. Thankfully, another Drake goes down the Infernal, done by the Volleyback. Yes, he has been turbo inting everything possible, whereas the uh, Nudu is actually doing uh, stuff that he's supposed to be doing. But the Volleyback has at least gotten some kills. Then again, uh, considering this insane discrepancy in the bot lane, uh, you know. Uh, 14, 6, and 10 to 3, 12, and 5, you know, added together. Uh, better have the fucking drink. You know what? The fact he's missing even one is depressing. Uh, Volley, you are five levels down. You are five levels down. Okay, so that's what we call you're a shit ass league player. Because that's a shit-ass league play. Okay, so we are not going to at all uh, tag down the same uh, same targets. Uh, Nico instead is just going to keep rooting people. Uh, Brand is going to try and scrap a Fiora. This is not what you want to do. Diego, can you do some damage? You're healing. You have the double damage come in from the Brand. Beautifully well done. You've got the kill. Look, there's two motherfucking Fiora portraits. There's two Fiora portraits. I'm just super confused. Um, 
the, the mid lane defense is still working. Ari just attempts to 1v fucking 4. I don't think that was the best decision. Uh, what is this game? So Volley's back to the jungle, which is probably what he should be doing, because he's insanely low leveled um, and really needs to focus on this. Viego's got that Kraken Slayer now. Uh, so he's, he's at his two item spike, but the, the problem is that Fiora's at her three item spike. And if we're being perfectly honest, uh, Kraken Slayer Bork played it. It's nice. Uh, Ravenous Triforce Sterix played it is a lot fucking better. And a ridiculous amount of fucking... What? I mean, I, I guess he got the kill. And the support basically soloed the, the R again. So that's fun for everybody involved. Unfortunately, this uh, this Fiora is literally just heals on heals on heals on heals. So you're looking at Conqueror, you're looking at Ravenous uh, Hydra, you're looking at Sterix heals, you're looking at her own vitals for heals, you're looking at the fact she's probably taken Ravenous Hunter for more heals. Can you get enough stuns out? I think double people, yes. Now scrap out this Pantheon. Because the, uh, that's kind of a weird thing. It's like, okay, this bitch be fed as shit, so just use her against you. Oh, I think you went just a little bit too early, Diego. Although, you should be able to scrap them out. Keep fucking fighting. Kaisa's a weak kitten. Aw, bitch. Run, Nico. Ah, you're gonna burst down. So, Diego just used the benefit of being a Fiora to do some damage. So, this is kind of the interesting thing about Viego. Even if you're a sack of shit, they've got a super fed member. If. I'm not saying he's a sack of shit, but he ain't no 11 at the time, 4 and 2 Fiora. But if you're able to, like, gangbang somebody out with another member and you suddenly become that super fed member, it feels real good. It feels real, real good because you can suddenly turn a fight. Of course, remember, you do execute damage off of your ult, so it's best to kind of wait for the right time to try and pop. Like, you almost want to be that fucking Fiora for as long as possible, really. Uh, okay, so if you get to scrap out this new new, no problem. You're, you're three levels up, that's fine. As long as you have sight on the Fiora, which they do, Fiora is pushing into the bot lane. Pantheon's roaming up, he's on double wards. Uh, Brand is coming in behind, able to hit that, able to hit the stun, pops down into the W. Uh, did, oh, he had ult, but nothing really happened from it. Gets the stun off, and you're able to pop him out. Unfortunately, now you're a weak as a kitten uh, pantheon, and you still have the world's uh, probably worst Ari. Uh, Nico's in, dies before she can actually get the ult, though. Uh, Jin is also just to do a little bit of wave clear, push them back. Uh, what? Split the uprights like a pro baller. Uh, Fiora just went in fucking hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen Jin miss just about every single one of his W's and she stuns targets. Um, I'm not one to judge, because I'll fucking do that too. I'll fucking do it again. Think I'm lying or not? Uh, meanwhile, this Ari is horribly depressing me. Uh, you gotta be real careful. This Fiora is level 15, and she is scary. Uh, oh wow! Hit the charm, you almost got to super root it, or super chain it. You know what, where's your fucking art? I don't give a shit. Big damage onto the Fiora and from the Fiora. Kinda going in, unfortunately, a dragon, a stolen dragon, just comes in for the red team to keep this sorta in this. Uh, Ari ends up doing, uh, just die. Just, why, why even flash? Just fucking... Volley? What are you doing? Oh, are they gonna just do this? They basically have to. If they don't take this Baron, they're gonna have a rough time. Uh, with the Fiora, the fact that Volley's facing, that Diego is not even looking like he's gonna rotate to help, uh, pretty much means that um, it's free as fuck. 
Now, there is a chance of a steal, except that nobody from the fucking blue team is anywhere near. They just gave over a free Baron. They didn't have to. There's really no point in that. Uh, at least they were able to take a turret, but my issue was you guys just died for free, for so free. Like, here's Brand just standing around. They're probably rage typing each other. Volley Bear, still level 11. Oh, just hit 12. Good shit. Unfortunately, your Ari's 12, your support's 12, your ADC for starting off Super Fed is only 12. Uh, oh, finally, we have an Executioner on the Diego to actually scrap out into this VR, who now added a Blade of the Ruined King, meaning, yes, she now has, like, five sources of healing in her kit, so, thank God you bought an Executioner. Um, Diego also got the Death Dance, uh, which is really good into this team of Kaisa, Pantheon, and Fiora. Solid, solid purchase. Uh, Fiora's common and solid. You're taking a stupid split up team fight, guys. Uh, Red just cleans that up. I mean, you're looking at a 2 for 0. Um, because Red Team has Baron. So obviously, they're going to be grouped to push objectives. That means the blue team is supposed to be grouped up to defend against this. Instead, what they're doing is not that, and they're trying to one three fucking one against a Baron team. What do you think is happening? Well, like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. But honestly, uh, I don't think that they can end. But they can get close. That is a level 17 Fiora. You have no need to for one-on-one. -on -one. She's simply too fed. 16, 5, and 2. Volley Bear, why? Why did you just run into their most fed teammates? You just you just won v 4 And now you're dead again. And now Brand's dead for free against the Fiora. Fiora's gonna kill the Jin. Doesn't matter. She can just tank this under tower. It really doesn't matter. Nobody can stomp her. Because you guys are determined to want, run in one at a time and to try and fucking one three one when you're behind. You don't do that shit. That's not what happens. That is not how League of the Legends works. But it's apparently what we're doing. The issue is, this is the level 17 Fiora who just went oom. You can kill her now. There you go. Beautiful shutdown. She went oom. She'll kill everybody on your team until she goes oom. And then she's got nothing left in the tank. But she is full built. She just bought Death's Dance uh, outright as well. She's horrifying to look at in all of her resplendent glory. Uh, you're looking at the Triforce, it's already done just about 4,000 damage. Uh, 7,500 damage off of Hydra. This hasn't been even been up that long, and you're looking at 1,500. This is healed, plus shielded for a shit ton, and this was just fun. A little bit decent, reasonable. Tempon, very nice to have. What's this last item going in off this vamp set? Uh, it's a couple options. I, I think going with the stairs would be better than, than going with anything else, because otherwise you're too explodable. You need stairs. Which gives you healing. You already have a lot of healing in your kit. So yeah. Um, let's see. Just bought this bramble vest. It looks like this. A little bit of burn. Oh, Nico got that shield. Goes in. Are they able to do anything to her? She's able to get out. Uh, not 100% sure how that kill works, but I'll take it. Are they able to get this Drake? Can you guys get it? Nope. Here comes the Fiora again. Oh, but they did manage to kill it somehow. Except I think it's basically a white. And... Maybe? Holy shit! Jin! You did work! I'll be honest, did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. I'm really trying to figure out why the frontline tank, the Volley Bear, is the one person who's never in your fight. Uh, so Jin had a heart carry that fight. Uh, 
And for the first time, he was actually untouched. Like, nobody dove him. There's a Pantheon, a Nico, a Kaisa, a Fiora, and nobody dove the Jin. I don't get that. Being an ADC in this season is literally spending the entire game running like a maniac, attempting to, to, to shoot maybe three shots in the entire fight. Nico? Nico? Uh, okay. So Baron is being marked as coming up in 36 seconds. Pretty important the blue team gets it. Because they have one in hip cracked, another in hip open, and then a single turn left. The the one good side is that they do still have double uh, uh, all of the turrets still up uh, in uh, in the bottle. They haven't lost a single one of bottle, which is nice. Okay, so uh, red side is starting to crack. Uh, one issue is that only one person has a sweeper. That's strange. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, Nudu hasn't really been warning very much. Uh, both supports have been warning a lot, which is really good. Great escape off uh, from the brand. Unfortunately, in comes the Kaisa, in comes the Pantheon. Uh, Nico's able to chase the Jin off of the side. Here comes a new, really good uh, E coming in from the Ari. Can you pop this bitch? Can't. Unfortunately, uh, Jin just moves forward to get in range of a Fiora, which I'll be honest, not really the best choice. Uh, Viego is alive, uh, took an inhibitor, but because of that, literally uh, allowed his entire team to get killed. I think he needed to be a part of that. Like I said, you're setting up for Baron, and you're behind. Why split? Okay, uh, Viego should have probably ignited for a little extra. Here's the problem, like I said. This is now a six-item Fiora because she sold boots for more healing. Getting that spirit visit. She no longer even has played it. Uh, doesn't need them. <laughs> Her Merc Treads, I think, sorry, she had. Doesn't need them. Not even, not even useful. Uh, so the gold is basically even. The kills are even. The dragons are close. Uh, the towers are also even. Uh, the issue is, it's a 23 kill Fiora, and if your whole team doesn't get on her, you lose. Uh, if, if anybody on the blue team goes for anybody that isn't Fiora, you lose. Uh, that's just how it is. Fuck this guy sucks. She has one item. She is useless. She's right now in chat going... Thank you, Fiora, for fucking carry. Like, just notice that Fiora's name is five guys in my ass. <laughs> it's, it's fucking awesome. So they are taking Baron again because Blue Team just simply cannot get any wards anywhere. Why does nobody have fucking Blue Trinket? Like, like what? What is this? Why is nobody? Why do you not have anything? And of course, Volley Bear is instead doing doing his red. You guys are doing buffs, and they're taking Baron. You have two open in hibs. It's gonna be three because the red team is like a halfway intelligent. All they need to do is just let the other two waves push, as they will be, because they will naturally. Just go send everybody boss and literally just plow it. Out. Okay, good escape from the Jin. Good out from the Ari. Unfortunately, Fiora's going to kill you. Can you get this Nico? Uh, get the stun. I don't think it's enough to... Oh, it is! Good job, Bimbo the Himbo. Run, Jin. Run. You have a very scary Fiora behind you. Oh, you're dead. Because, hey, look. Volley Bear was taking blue during all of this. Uh, Diego is... Down here, too. Um, like, okay, you guys are going for Infernal Drake. I understand that. What I don't understand is the fact that Red Team could have ended the game there. Like, like literally, you guys have crashing supers. Baron supers. You had everybody in mid, and then you walked to go check this? You just want a fight where you killed three people with Baron supers? There it is. 
You can just end. Okay, Viego, you better be really strong. Okay, you got the Kai saw. Can you do anything? Nope, yours, yours is huge. Uh, okay, you need to be able to massively CC chain this down. I don't know if you can do it. Brand, are you a god? Okay, why didn't Fiora just end? Oh, that's why. She just wants to pad the stats. She's not even taking damage. And that's the game. Alright, so this has been me doing some slight casting. Um, Fiora's fucking terrifying. Yep. Fiora's fucking terrifying. Uh, because what Fiora did here was the smart build. She went with health on an item with attack speed, a bit of damage, but mostly stacking damage, which worked out to be 6,200 fucking damage and 50% attack speed, uh, 16,000 damage off of Hydra, insanity, 4,300 from Blade of the Ruined King, ridiculous. So this slows people uh, because you steal move speed and it's doing your odd hit effects. Uh, this right here, 400 health, more AD, but uh, dealing or taking damage to a champ gets you your stacks. If you would drop under 30%, you get a 200 plus, uh, you know, uh, goes off of your AD per stack of shield, which again, you can stack pretty easily uh, when you're scrapping. So, and of course you, like, you restore health from doing these scraps anyways, right? So, she blocked 2,700, she healed 1,200, uh, healed 33 from this again, and this is, of course, increasing all of her other heals by 25%, and it's health, and it's MR, and it's more haste, and this one is armor, and haste, and AD, and health, and AD, and, like, this is the Fiora build. Like, she is stacking... She's got 3,000 health. She's got 3,000 health. She's 523 AD. She is 133 armor and 101 MR. She is actually scary strong. And two attacks a second off of this build. Off of this tank heal. It's a drain tank build, right? It's called drain tank because to try and shoot through all of this makes her actually almost as tanky as if she had um, like thorn mail and pure tank stats, right? Uh, Kraken Slayer. How? No, that that's got to be bugged. Thirty-seven hundred damage off blade. Forty percent for your mythic, which is nice. Decent heal. Uh, I just don't like this. Uh, Sanguine is, yeah, it's a split push item for early game. Not not good for late game. Uh, Kempunk is decent here because of the health, because of the, uh, the ability haste. Uh, steel caps, just to try and help out a little bit. It's like it, it's good, it's good pick up here. Uh, but Sanguine was just not awesome. I uh, would have really preferred seeing like hysterics just so y'all have that same level of tank is what it is anyways that's been me casting and kind of commentating and doing a little bit and they did what they did and things didn't always work out but anyways i'm gonna quickly check the damage uh piece here because i'm very very curious and i don't know if you guys can ever see that on the screen or not or if my obs is still being a dick so you know what maybe you see maybe you don't i don't fucking know I mean, I kind of fucking care, but like, not like crazy amount, really, like, if we're being honest. Uh, let's see the damage! And Fiora dealt 64,000 damage to champs, their Kai'Sa dealt 12,000. Okay! It's also what the Volibear dealt. Okay, yep, yeah, that was 100% top lane carry. Good times. Alright! Thanks for joining me, you beautiful bastards. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you didn't, I don't fuck.